The eighth annual Spring Mail Cup was held April 19th through the 22nd at the Tennessee Clay Target Complex in Nashville, Tennessee. Over the last few years, the event has grown from a small regional shoot to one of the largest Mega Blast NSCA tournaments in the nation. With over 440 shooters in attendance, the 2012 Spring Mail Cup was the biggest one yet. Hayward Cunningham with Promatic was the target setter for the tournament, and predictably, the targets were fantastic. Cunningham created a wide variety of presentations, most of which were challenging, but all capable of being broken by a well-focused shooter. As with many of the shoots in the southeast during the spring, the weather was unpredictable and erratic. The prelim and the other events shot on Thursday and Friday saw warm, sunny weather all day long. Conditions on Saturday changed to wet and windy, but fortunately, most of the rain fell overnight and cleared out before shooting began the next morning. Most of the shooting on Saturday and Sunday was done in overcast conditions with mild wind and enough chill in the air to force many shooters to don jackets or sweatshirts. On the first day of the main event, Wendell Cherry asserted early dominance as the only shooter to miss a single target. His score of 99 placed him ahead of fellow Top Guns Bill McGuire and Brandon Powell, who each shot a 98. Cherry and Powell were shooting the green course, while McGuire shot the gold course, which most shooters agreed was the more difficult of the two. However, shooting the tougher course on Sunday didn't slow Cherry down. He followed up Saturday's performance with a 98 on gold. McGuire and Powell tried their best to catch Cherry on Sunday, but the duel each broke 97 targets, leaving them tied for runner-up with a total score of 195. After a quick shoot-off, Brandon Powell took runner-up honors over Bill McGuire, and Wendell Cherry's score of 197 gave him the uncontested HOA in the main event. Cherry has become a perennial winner in the Gamale Cup, with 2012 making the fourth time he's won the event in its eight-year history. I felt pretty good about trying to hold everything together out there. We had some wind uh, coming out of the north, um, fairly heavy wind, and uh, any time you have uh, a lot of targets that don't have a lot of spring, that that can be affected, and so uh, coming out of there with two down, I was happy with that. I felt like I had won the shoot yesterday, and I had the damage control today. I, I thought 99 on the on, on that other course was a, a decent score, uh, and I just knew I had to tread water today and uh, try to kill all the easy stuff, and uh, and so that's what happened. Reigning national ladies champion Ashley Halfley continues to shoot well in 2012. Her score of 177 in the main event was enough to secure a spot as the ladies' champion. And thus ended the spring 2012 edition of the Gamal Cup, one of the premier spring tournaments in the game. Post-shoot sentiment was riding high with lots of praise for Hayward Cunningham and his Promatic team. With improvements to the facility and courses at the Tennessee Clay Target Complex and cooperative weather, the eighth annual tournament was another successful event for the Pear family and Gamal Shooting Supply. The Gamale Cup has grown each year since its inception in 2005, and it's no wonder why. Great competition, great targets, excellent facility, springtime in Music City. That is a great combination. Can't wait for the Gamale Cup in 2013. I'm Mark McGraw with DeltaSports.tv.